are. So I am uh, Megan Davis, I'm the Head of French at Wickersley School and Sports College uh, and I'm here today to talk to you about the A-level French course, why we're going to study it uh, and uh, where it could possibly lead to you in the future. Uh, so, uh, the, unlike GCSE, which is based more on yourself, the um, A-level course is um, centred completely on Fran France, French-speaking countries uh, and the culture of um, French-speaking uh, people. So the first part in Year 12, you'll be studying about family, um, cyber society, place of uh, work. Uh, we also look at uh, the culture, the heritage, uh, contemporary French music, so you get to listen to different types of music. Um, you look at cinema <coughs> um, and uh, it being a national passion. The other part of the course in, in year 12, you study a film. Now this year we've looked at um, Entre les Murs, um, which is um, a film um, about school um, and it's based on a novel, a semi-autobiographical novel um, about a French teacher who um, worked in uh, Paris. Um, it's a really interesting film, um, but we have also in the past studied uh, Latin, which is on the list as well. So we look at the students um, that we have in front of us and we look to see uh, which kind of film that you would most uh, would prefer to study for that year. We also study a um, book, The uh, No Emoi, which um, features lots of different parts of the um, course, such as marginalised uh, people in society uh, and family. So it's a good revision and recap on the stuff that we've already done. Uh, and this we study at the end of year 12 and beginning of year 13. Uh, the, in year 13, um, we look at slightly grittier uh, topics. So we look at um, the d diverse society in France, um, the marginalised uh, criminals, the attitudes towards uh, criminality, prisons in, prisons in France and French speaking countries. Uh, so we also look at uh, French politics, uh, um, demonstrations and strikes in France um, and uh, immigration integration uh, in, uh, French, uh, in France and then also French speaking countries. Uh, Part of the, the course, you will also do a, um, a small independent project, which is also then part of your uh, speaking exam. Um, and in the project, uh, you can choose, you get to choose exactly what you want to study. So how the exam is assessed, uh, you have three papers that you will see. The first paper is listening, reading and translation, which is two and a half hours long. And, um, it is based on the themes and the topics that I've just uh, mentioned previously uh, from year 12 and year 13 and that's worth half of the overall qualification. Uh, paper 2 is um, your written uh, um, exam which is based on uh, the film and the literary text and you write two essays in, that, uh, in two hours or an hour per essay and that's 20% of your final mark. And then the third part, which is 30% uh, of your um, overall um, A-level grade, um, you do a, um, it's a bit like GCSE in that you get given a card to, to discuss, um, in, which is based on the, the, the themes that you've been studying. And you get to choose out of two of the sub-themes of which one you want to, to uh, do your um, exam on. Um, and then the second part is about the presentation and discussion on your independent, your little project that you've, uh, you've done your research for. And the whole thing is about 20, 20 to 23 minutes in, in, the, in total. So, why take a language? So, um, with all the things that are going on at, at the moment, it's been particular things to do with Brexit. Uh, there's been lots of research that says that um, you are uh, far better off uh, if you... Um, speak more than one language, not only for uh, personal and professional reasons, but also to open up new horizons. Uh, the French itself is spoken in, along with English, and is the only language spoken out of uh, the four of the five continents. Um, and although perhaps less speak, people speak French throughout the world, it does mean 
that um, there are there just tend to be more jobs available for those people. We'll talk about that in a second. The, the, the language of international relations is French, so if you're interested in working for anything to do with the United Nations, European Union, UNESCO, NATO, the International um, Olympic Committee, a lot of the um, uh, things like Red Cross uh, uh, charities are at their main uh, working language is French. Um, and uh, it's language, learning a language or learning French is uh, definitely a skill that people are impressed by in terms of you know when you when you're going for a job because it does build on so many different skills into including communication, interpersonal, intercultural, uh, and uh, public speaking skills. Uh, in terms of uh, languages um, in the UK, the most sought after languages in the UK, the top two are French and German, which are really close together, <coughs> followed by Chinese, Spanish, and then Italian in terms of uh, the amount of jobs available. Um, <coughs> and in terms of where it could lead to, uh, there are so many possibilities for uh, qualified linguists. Um, I mean, the re the, there are lots of different uh, jobs that you can link it to, but the in terms of what it's um, uh, directly linked, you can have things like translator, interpreter, languages teacher, tourism and international uh, organisations, but there are also lots of other fields which um, have a working uh, tend to have language that you can link with it, and university degrees tend to have, um, will quite often combine languages with another subject, so for example law and French is a really common uh, combination. But you, you know, there's lots of things like journalism, law, politics, management, engineering, uh, architecture, business, computing, finance, uh, all to name a few. So even if you decide not to pursue languages after A level, this will be an undeniable asset to your CV and broaden your university choices and career prospects.